Happy Friday to you. Thank you so much for starting your morning with us. If you have a pet, you no doubt consider them a part of your family. Well, now one local woman says her 12-year-old lab is like her child, and she is fighting to get her back. She spoke with ABC Action News reporter Vanessa Arise about her ongoing fight to reunite with her dog. I am not a bad person. My dog is my everything. Since she was eight weeks old, Tuesday has been by Ashley Taylor's side. In 2018, she and Tuesday packed up and left Texas to live with the man she began a relationship with here in Florida. Silly me. I was like, oh, here's Prince Charming coming to sweep me off of my feet. Taylor tells me the abuse began early. She said she tried to leave, couch surfing, renting rooms on Craigslist, even staying at a domestic violence shelter. But she says when she was told that she couldn't take Tuesday with her, she went back to her ex. When I went back to him, it was the worst mistake of my life. She says calls to 911 ended with her behind bars with domestic charges. While Taylor was incarcerated, her ex took Tuesday to the Manatee County shelter. Standard policy consists of a five day hold on an animal while staff try to locate its owner. We were able to trace the microchip back to Miss Taylor, but her contact information that was attached to the microchip was all with numbers in Texas. They were all out of date. As a result, Tuesday was listed as a stray. According to the shelter's intake record, the same day Tuesday was taken in by a lab rescue, but it was noted not to disclose which one. We asked why the lack of information on a public document. Hans Wogelfort with Manatee County Animal Shelter said that was added after Taylor inquired about where Tuesday was taken and was told to file a public information request. It was obviously a difficult situation, but if we would have had someone reach out to us on behalf of Mrs. Taylor. Taylor says she wasn't able to contact the shelter or lab rescue until April. A representative with the lab rescue declined an interview, but offered a statement reading in part, quote, we certainly sympathize with Miss Taylor and had it been possible, we would have reunited her with her dog during the foster period. Tuesday's adoptive family was given a video and letter from Taylor with the option to return Tuesday. However, they declined. They have just taken my animal and said, Okay, she's in better hands. Taylor says she will not give up her fight and is now seeking legal action. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.